What's good my people today we've got the live story of Kim Tae Young, better known as V from BTS a documentary from my brother happy birthday to Hyang V that's how I'm gonna call him Hyang V hopefully I can do that but uh basically it's the 30th of December you guys watching this now this is obviously pre-recorded but I had to do something special for V's birthday you already know I think I'm gonna do a documentary on every single member's birthday we already did Jin's now it's V's and I think next is J-Hope if I'm not mistaken in February I'll check though but let's get straight into the documentary Real quick guys, if you enjoy my reaction, please go ahead and hit that like button at the end of the video, but that's only if you enjoyed this reaction, and if you want to see my future reactions, which is all for free, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The live story of Kim tae -yang. super excited to see bro. Link to this video will be in the description below, big shout out to you bro. Hello everyone, welcome back to my life stories series. A look into the life story of K-pop idols, looking into their journey and how they got to where they are now. Vocalist, actor, photographer, V of BTS. But before we learned of his many talents, he had to work hard to get to this point. Back. This is the life story of uh... Kim Taehyung. Kim Taehyung, born December 30th, 1995 in Daegu, South Korea, known as V, is a South Korean singer, songwriter, record producer, and actor. He is a member of the South Korean boy band BTS. V was born into a family of farmers. His parents were really busy, so for almost half of his life, his grandmother helped raise him. He is the oldest of three with a younger brother and sister. V has actually said that he always thought he would be a farmer like his family. He stated, quote, I used to think I would be a farmer since I grew up in a village. I didn't really have any friends that had visions for the future, end quote. V first aspired to be a professional singer in elementary school and eventually began taking saxophone lessons in early middle school as a means of pursuing the career. V began playing the saxophone in the 12th grade. His father, who is also his role model, supported his dream, telling him that a singer should at least learn to play one instrument, which led V to playing the saxophone. V initially became a trainee for Big Hit Entertainment after passing an audition in Daegu. His the whole his audition is like very special because he was with a friend, I believe, isn't it? He went with a friend, actually. Audition story is a really interesting one. When he was in the ninth grade, he followed a friend who was mm -hmm. auditioning but he himself did not plan to audition. He just wanted to go as company. He did not plan on auditioning because his parents did not allow it. But a member of the rookie development team saw him there and advised him to audition. In that moment, they called his parents, they got their permission, and he auditioned. He later learned that he was the only one who passed the auditions from Daegu. It was meant to be. He started his career at the Korean Arts High School in Seoul, where he graduated alongside groupmate Jimin in 2014. V is currently enrolled in the Global Cyber University alongside BTS members RM, Suga, J-Hope. Wait, sorry, let me take that back. Did he graduate high school and Jimin was in the same high school? Wait, did I hear that right? Korean Arts High School in Seoul, where he graduated alongside groupmate Jimin in 2014. I never v knew. is currently enrolled in the Global Cyber University alongside BTS members RM, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, and Jungkook. V was known as the hidden member of BTS, meaning no one knew of him until the BTS debut trailer video came out and people saw his name included with the other members. People started asking, who is V? No one knew about him. He was considered Big Hit's secret weapon. Although no one knew of V, we do see V make a cameo in Joe Kwan's I'm the One music video before his actual debut but no one predicted he was going to be a member of BTS. On June 2013, V made his debut as a member of BTS with their debut album, Too Cool for School. He was first credited as composer in The Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 1, where he co-wrote and co-produced the song Hold Me Tight. Okay. He also contributed to writing lyrics for the song Fun Boys, for the song Run, V's melody was used with Jungkook's original lyrics for the next album, I've The Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 2. He then did the same for his solo single Stigma 
from the album Wings, which charted at 26 on the Gaon Music chart and 10 on the Billboard World Digital Singles chart. In 2016, during BTS's oh. third muster, V shared with ARMY that his grandmother had passed away recently. Her oh. passing was during BTS's promotions for Blood, Sweat and Tears. Oh. It was a really hard time for V. May she rest in peace. Yeah, she grew up. That's sad, bro. Prayers to him. In May 2018, his second solo song, Singularity, was released as the trailer for BTS's album, Love Yourself Tear. A month after its release, The Guardian added Singularity to its top 50 songs for the month of June 2018 playlist. Billboard okay. included it in their critics list of the top 50 BTS songs at number 28. Overall, Singularity wow. was generally well received by critics and as a result was mentioned on several year-end critics' choice lists. The New York Times ranked it 20th on its list of the 65 best songs of 2018. LA Times pop music critic Michael Wood named it the 4th best and most replay-worthy song of 2018. Guardian music critic Laura Snapes wow. included it as one of her favorite tracks in their Best Music of 2018 wow. album and tracks list. On October 24th, V became one of the youngest recipients of the prestigious 5th class Huaguan Order of Cultural Merit Medal awarded to him by the president of South Korea, wow. along with the other members of yeah. BTS for their role in the spread of Korean culture. On June 14th, 2019, V, together with fellow BTS member J-Hope, collaborated with Zara Larson on a song called A Brand New Day. For One thing is, I don't know when I, when I should go into the BTS members' solo tracks. Like, when is the right time for me to to go ahead and do their solo tracks like is there something with the bu content related is there something like like that you know let me know a soundtrack album of their mobile game bts world v has also released unofficially a cover of someone like you by adele which he received a lot of attention for someone in 2015 v along with bandmate rm were cast in an episode for the variety show hello counselor in 2016, he also participated in Celebrity Bromance. In 2016, V made his acting debut with a supporting role in the historical drama Huarang the Poet Warrior Youth under his real name. He also collaborated with fellow BTS member Jin for the Huarang soundtrack on the song Even If I Die, It's You. On June 8th, 2017, he released Four O'Clock, a song he co-produced with fellow BTS member RM to celebrate BTS's fourth anniversary. On January 30th, 2019, V released his first full solo track outside wow. of BTS. I never knew members had so many solo work as well. Like I was never aware of these things. Titled Scenery. The ballad song was written and composed by V, who also photographed the cover artwork. It broke SoundCloud records for reaching 100 million streams from 20 million in over 14 days, the shortest time for the platform. Over oh. the course of the two weeks, Scenery broke the daily streaming record nine times, setting the record at 11 million streams in one day. The what? song received generally favorable reviews following its release, with particular praise directed to the nostalgic and sentimental qualities of the lyrics which were equated to a diary entry. V is known as a social butterfly. He can make friends anywhere he goes. He is not shy and in fact, his bandmate Jungkook has shared that V was the member that helped him a lot in coming out of his wow. shell and being less shy. That's v cool. is also a photographer and painter. He regularly shares with ARMY photos he's taken of a variety of things. Many of the artwork for BTS members covers are photos taken by him. Wow. He has shared his paintings as well. When photographer painter V shows up, you can refer to him as Vante, a nickname he gave himself after combining V and Ante Badzim, his favorite photographer, and V and Van Gogh, the famous artist. V wow. is a baritone and his voice has been praised for being so unique. Yeah. And just like the other members of BTS, 
he has had a positive impact in the music industry. Very, like, he is also the member of BTS who created the term I purple you, which is a connection. I've seen this so many times in my comments. You guys explained me, I purple you and Bora, hi. Something like that means like basically I love you. Between BTS and ARMY. During their third muster, V said, do you know what purple means? It's the last of the rainbow colors. Purple means I will love and trust you for a long time. My beloved army. Uh, I had a great time today with you all. We were able to get so much love and attention because of your support. You said that our song cheer you up, but for us, Army's cheerful voice is the biggest happiness and blessing. I purple you. I purple you. I purple you. That's the first time I've been hearing them say it. I love it. The future is bright for Taehyung, and I'm sure his life story will continue to be as fruitful as it has been. Thank you for watching and listening. And I, I also know this is 2019, so it's obviously 2020 and 2021 is not included in this, but it's like the, the only documentary I could find for my brother, you know? As always, thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing. Until next time. Adios. Thank you, my friend. That's been a documentary from V. Big shout out to V. Happy birthday to him as well. I hope you guys all show love to him, which you probably already did. You feel me? Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see my future reactions, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's been your boy. I'm out. Safe.